Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo! Yesterday, we did it! We filled in our entire diving encyclopedia! I'm so happy we're almost there! We are almost, almost there! And today, well, it's another late night, so I think we're just gonna go around the town and see what it is we can see! Wow, I actually have enough space for all these letters, I was worried about that! Starting off, let's uh, check our mail. Wow, that was quite a voice crack. I sounded raspier than usual. From Wishy the Star. Please don't tell me I wished for another garden gnome. To Planetary Emil, I saw you making wishes on the shooting stars from up here. Your wish. Oh yes, I know what it was. Let me grant that wish of yours. What might I ask is that wish of mine? What did I want more than anything else in the whole entire world? A hi-fi stereo. Right on. Pietro. To Emil, I've been trying to describe the essence of Pietro, and I have finally arrived at an answer. Apparently, the last time you said this, it was not the true answer. So let us see, what is the true essence of Pietro? A blue check tea. Well, I guess sheep aren't really known for surviving the Arctic tundra, so the other one wasn't really a good fit. That's much better. Mom, I've been bragging about, uh, bragging about you to all the neighbors, but of course they do the same for their kids. You're still the best, though. I'm proud of you, Mom. That rings a little bit true, because my mom tells me that she does that about me, and it's a little embarrassing, but I guess whatever makes her happy. Vaulting horse! <laughs> it's just a little funny to me. Seems very random. I'm going to keep the letter from Wishy the Star and for Mom. Sorry, Pietro, you're going in the incinerator, but it's okay. I've saved plenty of letters from you in the past. Trust me. I wouldn't throw away the extra good ones, just the ones that we've already heard. Starting off today, I guess we can check our town initiatives. Oh, we got the... Deep dive one taken care of last night. I had a feeling we did. Slingshot Sniper. There's something shifty about those balloons that float into town uninvited. Next time you see one, shoot it down. And lucky item. Looks like we're seeing Katrina today. Just because I am one of them completionist folk. That's who I am. Well, um, starting off the day, I want to kind of address the elephant in the room. I have sold all of my turnips. I got very lucky, and because I cannot escape mentioning Devon for one video, uh, Devon, Maryland had some good turnip prices that I chose to sell at, and I even left him a few tips in the process, as is common courtesy. If someone has amazing turnip prices, you're already making money hand over fist, easily doubling, tripling, quadrupling your investment, so throw him a hundred turnips or so. You're still making a huge profit anyway, and it's just kind of the nice thing to do. Keeps people playing, keeps people encouraged. It's a very nice thing to just, well, do. I've said that like three times in the sentence already. Cookie! I didn't want to walk past you, so let's see. Good to see you tonight. I've always got time for you, Major E. Oh, I see. <laughs> I guess uh, now that my uh, certain interest is no longer here, you're just kind of swooping in. My house is so stuck in the past. I can't stand my interior design. I need to stir things up. My blue tartan tea could be replaced, but I have to swap it out with something else. I was the same size. Let me know if you have any brilliant ideas. Do I have anything for you that would be a good fit? Perhaps in my campground letters. Let's check it. We'll look for a gift for Cookie when we go shopping. But uh, in unboxing all of my stuff that I got, I wanted to draw attention to the Lala Wand. This is not a furniture item, but actually a tool that you can hold in your hand. It doesn't do anything. I'm tapping A right now, and it's not moving or being special in any sort of way besides looking cool, but it's kind of nice that they added a new tool. The uh, Flower Fairy's Wand Lipstick that you can get from playing Animal Crossing Puzzle League is one of these as well. Thinking about this for a little while now, I think I might have overstayed my- No, Rocco! No, Rocco! You are the only original resident of Palette left. If somebody else moved back, I wouldn't be too, too upset by this, but I'm sorry. I can't- let you go! It's so weird how Rocco... I wouldn't really say that he's the most interesting or memorable character ever, but... Uh, we have a camper! Well, right in time for me to not have any slot for you, so let's see what animal is... ...getting missed out on! Oh, I think this is Lopez. Hi there. Do you live here? I'm Lopez. I'm in town for a little camping trip, so it's nicer. It's so nice around here. I love it. Apparently, you don't love it enough to move here. Can I just say that Animal Crossing, especially as of late, has such a camping fetish? Just every new feature they introduce has to do with camping. It's it's kind of funny. 
Every now and then it feels nice just to get out and go go tent camping somewhere fun, Buckaroo. Feels like resetting your mind. It brings back the good old memories from the past. Apparently not a lot of animals feel that way anymore now that they have that. No, I am not betting my hot plate. Maybe next time. I want all the items in my inventory. I would rather try to get an item off of you if you don't mind. You know, um... I mean, I'd be giving you money for it, of course, presumably, if you think you can beat me. You think you can take that challenge? Fine, I will bet you the true essence of Pietro. <laughs> Not like I could wear this thing anyway. Uh, yeah, explain the rules. Okay, so the rules. We have a simple die here. I'll throw it up to three times, and you're supposed to guess if it'll be an even or an odd number. The more you guess correctly, the higher you can sell your blue check T for. But if you guess wrong, I can buy the item for you for the price we've reached at that point. Well, let's have our first round. If you get this incorrect, I'll buy the item for 50 bells. Okay, what number will you choose? I like odds more than evens, just like I like left more than right. Number is one! A only 80 bells? This sucks. I'm going with an odd number again, sticking by my guns. Three! For the third and final round, I am well prepared to become to fall victim to gambler's fallacy. We're going even because it was odd the last two times. Ah! Oh! <laughs> well, I fell prey like I said I would. I'm just too good at predicting things, I suppose. Uh, well, I'm still very happy that I get to sell it for 1,185 bells because the price he was offering me at first sucked. Your attitude deserves some respect, Buckaroo. I'm glad one of us thinks so. I only actually know what his name is because ironically enough with the stuff we've been talking about lately, he's, I think, the second or third animal that you meet in Happy Home Designer in every playthrough. So, I only know him because of that. I wouldn't say that he's really memorable or an animal that I particularly like, but at least I know who he was ahead of time. And looks like Jitters isn't home. Well, I suppose now, uh, nothing else to do but just get started on our day. We don't have a whole lot of time until the Nookling store closes for the night, but I'm not super worried like I was last night. Phineas! Phineas! You are here to have your foot chopped off by a golden shovel, aren't we all? But... You have a medal for me completing my diving encyclopedia. You came all the way out here to see me, Gramps. Aw, you want to spoil me like all old people do. Argarkark, it seems you now know all there is to know about what's under the sea. You look like you've been beaming with pride as you walk around with that fine encyclopedia of sea creatures. I am so sorry to be enslaving your kind of blathers, but at least you have no hard feelings about it and are giving me a reward for it. One dipped in gold, no less. If you keep being good, the badge man will bring you a new badge, okay? I got the Professor of Seafood badge! Everyone agrees I'm an expert in all things under the sea. Do you happen to have two badges for us? Nope. Oh well. To be young and in the first five hours of this game all over again and be able to get multiple badges from him per visit, Egbert, we haven't seen you in a few days, what's up? Is someone there? Oh, it's Major E! Sorry, it was so dark I couldn't see a thing. I don't know if chickens actually have bad eyesight after dark. I guess you're more of a rooster. I've been obsessed with catching ocean fish recently. The thing is, I'm pretty terrible at it. That's why I was hoping you could help me out. We're just having to go find things for everyone today. I guess if it's any ocean fish, it's not too inconvenient. I hope, hope, hope to above that you do not put that in your house because your house is the best yet. Two special visitors for the price of one, Grandma. Hello, Gulliver. I'm not leaving you for dead this time. I cannot believe how seriously unconscious I am right now. Don't do that, my beak isn't a can opener. Yeah! What happened to me? Where am I? Am I Gulliver? Hey, I remembered my name. Nice to meet you. My name is Gulliver. I'm a sailor, of course. Oh man, I think I got cage rattled pretty bad. I'm feeling a little bird brained at the moment. Get it? Cause I'm a bird. Ha ha ha, I quack me up. Uh, so, hmm, you're acting pretty calm about this. So, Mr. Cool Cat, will you listen to my sad tale of doom and gloom? Truth is, I fell over the side of my boat and was swept away by the waves, or it was because of a 90-foot sea monster! No, two! I hate, hate it when that happens. Blasted monster stole my memory and my sandwich. Where was my boat headed to? What was my boat headed off before I was hurled, of course? Uh, of course, I can't seem to remember, even with my trusty thinking cap on. Oh, I know, it's so obvious. Will you help me figure out where I was heading? Eh, why not? Okay, thanks. I haven't met someone so willing to help a total stranger since the residents of Rico Harbor. All right, I'll tell you everything I remembered about my destination before my mind goes blank. 
The cuisine of this uh, country I was heading to is like nothing else. They make this really spicy sour soup with shrimp in it. It's called Tom Yong Kung. <laughs> Tasty but spicy. If you try it once, you'll be hooked for life. Also in that country, there are a lot of elephants who are who need special care and preservation. I wonder if old Gulliver will get cared for once he gets there. Yes, because you look so much like an elephant. <laughs> Nepal, Vietnam, Thailand, or Japan. I'm gonna guess Vietnam. <laughs> I'm gonna guess Vietnam. That sounds the most right. I'm sorry, it's been like 10 years since I've taken a geography course, all right? And if it's not Canada, I haven't really had any need to like go to a foreign country and get immersed in the culture, but that sounds right. I am so, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, glad to know you're just gonna pick up and go to Vietnam because some random stranger said so. I hope I'm right. Ooh, that looks like either something very rare or a sea bass. That's generally how this game works. I took too long to pull that up. It's gonna be a sea bass. It's like I know how this game works. <laughs> I'm kind of sad. It seems like horse mackerels are becoming the new sea bass for the new generation, but man, back in my day, you only had three ocean fish that were caught through most of the months of the year, and every time it was a sea bass. These kids don't know the traditions. I caught a sea bass. Sea bass. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I've got. I have something for you too. It's always close. What do I always say? It's a speedway tea. Hope you like it. Thanks again for your help, Majory. Maybe I'll bug you for help again sometime. But I caught you a fish, not a bug. <laughs> fin. I haven't gone inside, have I? No, I have not. You're just still here from the last time. Okay, you have to kind of leave the area and come back before he despawns. Oh, well, here I thought I was actually getting stuff. Oh, you suck. You need to change with the times. The lovely phone doesn't have hours. Besides, it's not like supporting your local economy actually means anything. <laughs> Hello, this is the automated fortune-telling telephone service. I greatly prefer the dial a psychic hotline. Look out for clearance sales. You may end up buying something you'll really regret later on. That item that will keep you out of trouble today is a long-sleeved shirt. Well, until next time. Something I didn't notice the first time around is that I was only half right about the fertilizer. It does indeed revive perfect trees, but it only turns them into regular trees, unfortunately. So you can't get unlimited perfect fruit. You do still need to manage your remaining stash of perfect fruit to avoid getting screwed out of it. And maybe it's best to not use the fertilizer on native perfect fruit, but on foreign perfect fruit, so you get as much return out of those trees as possible. The Daily Fortune has such a nice ring to it. I'm happy that this is maintained just for so long. Never count your Yoshis before they hatch. Plans often change. That's a gonna be a Yoshi egg. I guess some things never change in that we don't get new items hardly ever. It's like I know how all this works. While we're in the Nookling shop for tonight, I want to go to the catalog to show some things that we haven't seen yet. There's a few items in particular that I want to order. Uh, for one, uh, I'm just going to type in SPR. You no longer need to know the exact item of what you are searching for. You don't have to type in the exact word or anything like that. It'll just simply find all the items that have an instance of that. It doesn't take that long to load either. I searched for that combination of letters to show you that the sprinkler can now be ordered normally. It could not before. It shares this trait with... The law! In the mower. You could not order these two items from the catalog before, even though they were fully intended to, so it's been fixed. The items that I want to order, however, or I guess, uh, well, yes, items. Uh, for one, we're ordering a judge's bell for tomorrow. Why? It's a surprise. It's so nice that you don't need to know the exact text anymore, and it just finds anything containing the letters that you typed in. These guys are geniuses. It's like they took all the little annoyances with the best Animal Crossing game and just removed them. Amazing, it's perfect. Gonna have a very full mailbox tomorrow because I also want to order a cushion. 
One more thing that deserves mentioning is that right here in my catalog, I have a rainbow screen. I don't believe I've ever obtained this item through normal means, and the only explanation that I can think of is that by linking my happy home designer data that had it in its catalog, perhaps it unlocked it? I'm not sure about this one though, so take it with a grain of salt. If anyone has any information if Happy Home Designer transfers over all the items in its catalog to New Leaf Welcome Amiibo, I'd be happy to hear it, because I've wondered for some time myself. I've had time to think it over, and we're ordering a candy house for something that is not so much a surprise. I'm pretty sure you can figure out what I'm doing with this. Still an absolute steal that you can order these items for nothing. These are all the items that you could get from the competitions um, from Happy Home Design are just available normally for hardly any bells at all. I guess they kind of felt bad for them no longer being available. And where is it? Yes, I know the Yellow Submarine is a Beatles song, but this is clearly referencing the sprite from Earthbound. It looks the same as it. The album cover of Yellow Submarine does not look like this, okay? <laughs> I know the Yellow Submarine is from the Beatles. That aside, it is time for us to go gift shopping. Anything here that would take up one space and look good in Cookie's house with patchwork furniture? Ouch. Ouch. Oh, wow. Bad selection. I would not put a spooky lamp in her house by a long shot. I guess that means if I want to not lose happiness with her, I'm gonna be shopping at Gracie Grace. Uh, how much? I am about to make one lucky dog. I do think the sweets mini lamp would look adorable in her house. Sold. I don't know if she'll accept it in the wrapping paper. I hope she- I'm not gonna chance it. I'm gonna- I think I might open it. Oh, cookie! I just like smacking everyone with my shovel. And what is it with that stag beetle shirt? That thing is an epidemic! I miss the days when Shari was the trendsetter in town and not Hopper, ugh. Who, uh-oh, uh, it won't let me select it. Wait, she adopted the kick me catch? Cookie, you are just adopting so many self-destructive dangerous habits. What are you doing with your life? Here, it's a good thing that I thought about you so much that I got you such a big gift because wow, you need the emotional support right now. Take it, a sweets mini lamp. I can't believe the dog started saying, kick me. I'll put it in my room as soon as I get home. Kick me. Uh, I have unleashed dangerous fury onto the world by playing a practical joke on Croak. It's a cabin wardrobe. Thanks so much. Oh, cookie, 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 cookie. Please get better, please get better. Egbert was in a hurry to get somewhere, but wanted to stop and talk. Uh, you had to take part in an epic s swimming lesson inside of a sauna. Ew! Was the swimming in just pools of sweat? It was totally overheating. When you showed up, you saved me by dumping a bucket of- I save you in your dreams a lot. First from giant Isabels, and then from you drowning in sweat. One is significantly less disgusting than the other, depending on who you talk to. But let me get this straight. You were swimming inside of a sauna in a giant pool of sweat, and I saved you from drowning by dumping water on you? Eh, I'm not one to talk, it's a dream. My recurring dream when I was a kid was that I married a tree. In a twist of irony, I ran all up and down this town for the last half hour, and never found a single balloon present. So we're settling for just a lousy five Meow Coupons. Oh well, I guess it just wasn't meant to be. But because we've grabbed our Meow Coupons, that logically means that I have scanned an Amiibo, so it is time for that time of day again. Shy! Oh, she's so adorable! She takes the concept of Tia a step further and actually has a teacup on her head. Oh! You know, I really feel like I could make a name for myself in a town like this. Everyone would love you, but I don't have a spot open for you. Uh, let's talk. You want to see my driver's license? I have it. Don't laugh, okay? The picture's kind of blurry. I was so excited I couldn't stop moving for the photo. Oh, I was hoping we'd actually get to see it. Okay, I, again, I know that I could just free up a slot for her, but that's cheating. Stepping in a Chai's camper is like stepping into a world of cinema roll. In short, it smells delicious in there. She indeed has cinnamon buns on her stuff. That wall is super cute. 
That floor is super cute. That hat is super cute. That jacket is super cute. That outfit is super cute. That parasol is super cute. Those shoes are super cute. I actually want those right away. That sign is super cute. That sofa is super cute. That would fit right in in my room. I'm gonna order that and see how it looks at least. Stool, table, tray. Oh, it's all so good. I didn't even look and see who the other person in their UFO was because I was just looking so forward to this. Uh, don't spill scalding hot coffee on your head. Wow, she is good. <laughs> Uh, I love it whenever animals have special designs like that. You have Julian, who he looks like a horse, but he actually is a unicorn. He has like a different head shape. Oh, it's just Pascal. Okay, I am absolutely fine ordering another one. You have uh, Drago actually having a different face from the alligator, so he's a dragon. And then you have her actually having a teacup on her head. I, I love it when they go that extra mile to give them nice little touches. I think that's a pretty small table. Uh, it's a pretty small stool. That might be better than the stools we already have. I'm going to go with that. This is the kind of RV house that can break me. We've seen so many great Sanrio items already, and we still have two more animals left to see out of all of them. RV is asleep. I, well, okay, I was gonna say we'll let him sleep though, but maybe we'll see what he has to say. Yes, you forget me yet again. It's not funny anymore. You're just saying the same things over and over again. You never change what you're saying, Harvey. He just ha seems to have a set list of things that he'll pick from randomly unless he's feeding the birds. Now, I have something that I've been waiting to talk to you about. You ready for it? We're gonna sit by the campfire and have a little bit of story time. You guys seem to like it whenever we just kind of sit down and tell a story. So, fine. I will read you a story. This is one of my absolute favorite things to ever come out of the Animal Crossing community. I'm gonna be telling a story written by an anonymous Tumblr poster on the Tumblr titled, Him Fart Gallery. <laughs> It is relevant to one of the animals living in our village, and I felt with her living here, it would be a crime to not share this because it has given me endless, endless enjoyment. Whoever you are, anonymous Tumblr guy, I thank you very much for sharing this story with us. The prompt of this post was to tell the original poster about, ahem, you are first crush. One of the responses reads, it was Cookie from Animal Crossing for GameCube. I used to bring her flowers and fossils and talk to her over and over until she told me to go away. Then one day, she said she didn't want to lose me, and a heart emoticon floated above her head, and I knew it was real. So I sent her a love letter. Then a few weeks later, I had a friend over and we traveled to each other's towns. A few days later, I opened my mailbox and saw a letter from Cookie. She told me she had moved. She moved to my friend's town. I was heartbroken and planted flowers where her house once stood. Then, the next week at school, I walk into class and everyone started laughing at me. Cookie had shown my friend the letter I wrote to her. She showed him the letter! I had never felt more betrayed in my entire life. I couldn't believe that she did that to me. So when I got home, I ripped up all the flowers I planted in her memory and vowed to never love again. I see past your fake smile, you cold-hearted bitch. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. And besides, she is a female dog after all. <laughs> uh, it was such a treat when I remembered that Cookie was living in my town. Ha, <laughs> treat, Cookie, but... Uh, I've been waiting to mention that one for a while. <laughs> it happened not too, I found that not too long before this happened, and I don't think it was too old, so yeah. I tried to give as much full credit as I could to an anonymous poster. I don't want to claim credit for anyone else's writing or anything like that. So hopefully that is sufficient because I couldn't exactly ask the original poster about it. Anyway, we're back home. This painting looks so good in this room. Why did I not put it in here sooner? Why was I putting it in the treats room? We got a lot of interior decorating to do, so how about we hop to work? Our carpet is looking like... Wow. Man, screw look at all these cool animals you can't have. Look at all this cool furniture you can't have. Uh, no better than to be born in North America, indeedy. <laughs> I don't think the high vice stereo would have a place in this room. Uh, what happens if we display the wand in here? That would be kind of nice. 
Oh, it doesn't actually have an icon. How lovely. I think I'm gonna stow the hot plate for a little bit, just so that I can customize the food inside of it. In fact, you know what? Maybe I'll go and leave that with Cyrus and we'll see it tomorrow morning. I never did test out the blah 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 wall that we got the other day, so... Not loving it, not loving it. It does look good in food rooms, and we do have some items that would match it, I guess, but... I think for a placeholder, I'll keep it for right now, but nah, I I'm loving kinda what we have going on with the floor, and I think I'm gonna go further in that direction. It even matches the egg furniture that I already have quite well. But, I think we're due for a new KK song. It's kind of another thing I like about Happy Home Designer that I didn't mention. I'm very okay with having a game where you just get to listen to KK songs for 60 hours. I ship it. Just like I ship that one guy with Cookie. Well, I hope today was an enjoyable day for you. I think we had a lot of fun stuff happen. We set up quite a few things for tomorrow that we'll get a chance to see then. And I say with that, we are pretty good. So, tomorrow on Animal Crossing New Leaf, welcome Amiibo. We get one step closer to Halloween, and we're going to get started on the things that you suggested for me to do. See you guys then. Thank God! I am finally paid up for that painting, AZ Fan 120! I hope you enjoyed my suffering. <laughs>